Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. We have some indicator announcements for May. Two titles, one exciting box set and one unknown entity for me. So let's have a look at these titles and of course if you know anything about them, uh, particularly the first one, I want to know a little bit about it. So let's just dive in to our first title, which is Pastor Hall Limited Edition from 1940, directed by Roy Bulting. This is released on uh, 20th of June, when the quiet German village of Altdorf is taken over by an SS platoon, which proceeds to enforce Hitler's ideals upon its inhabitants. A kindly pastor questions the agenda of the new order, while members of his parish turn a blind eye to the insidious indoctrination. Before long, he is punished for his vocal opposition and sent to Dachau, where, despite his abuse and brutality, which he suffers, he refuses to give in to the madness of the inhumanity of National Socialism. It says here it's a bold and stirring tribute to the universal power of faith, courage and personal conviction. Pastor Hall has been newly restored from 4K scans of the Nyrate duplicate negative by Powerhouse Films and finally available on Blu-ray for the first time in the world. So it's a new 4K scan done in-house. It's got the original mono Matthew D. Hokenos on Martin Niemöller, the author of Then They Came For Me. The Pastor Who Defied the Nazis discussed the life and legacy of German pastor Richard Falcon on Pastor Hall from this year. The ex-BBFC examiner discusses the film history within the British Board of Film Censors. That could be a good, interesting extra. Newsreel footage from 1946, extract from Welt in film featuring Niemöller speaking about post-war German guilt. The Dawn Guard, a short film directed by Bulting and starring Pastor Hall actors. Minefield. From 1944, a documentary short film produced by Roy Bilting for the Army Film Unit. New and improved subtitles with a deaf and hard of hearing. Limited edition booklet with new essay by Fiona Kelly. World premiere on Blu-ray. Now, I know nothing about this one at all. It's a complete blank. I haven't even heard it discussed. I'm sure someone out there knows something about this and can drop some serious knowledge eh, on me about this one, which, to be honest, I, I want to hear more about. Eh, next up, we have the thoroughly exciting Columbia Noir 5, Humphrey Bogart. Now... I am super excited about this. I've seen a couple of movies here, but it's so long ago that I can barely remember anything about them. Now, I am currently doing the Columbia Noir 4 box set, uh, a review every Sunday, so I think we've we're, we're got two more left to go. This is out on the 20th of June. It's a limited edition set. It's got four UK premieres and two worldwide premieres. The movies are, let's just jump through the, we've got Dead Reckoning, we've got Knock on Any Door, Tokyo Joe, Sirocco, Family Secret, and uh, The Harder They Fall. Now, this is the fifth noir set. I, I was kind of lukewarm. On the previous edition, I am looking forward to getting my hands on this one. Columbia Noir 5, Humphrey Bogart brings together five of the iconic actors starring vehicles. Five. There's six movies there. <laughs> Maybe that's just a little typo. Uh, featuring stunning 4K restoration of The Harder They Fall and with Socorro and The Family Secret appearing on Blu-ray for the first time anywhere in the world, this stunning collection includes newly recorded commentaries and critical appreciations, archival documentaries and short films and a 120-page book, strictly limited to 6,000 numbered units. Ooh, there's going to be a lot of extras here, so let's uh, sit back and go through these. The, the 4K restoration of The Harder They Fall, HD presentations of Dead Reckoning, Knock on Any Door, Tokyo Joe, Sirocco and The Family Secret, Original Mono Auditor, eh, Audio, Original Mono Audio, Audio Commentary with Film Scholar eh, Alan K. Road on Dead Reckoning, uh, Commentary with Pamela Hutchinson on Knock on Any Door, Commentary with Nora Fiore eh, on Tokyo Joe, 
audio commentary with Alexandra Haler Nicholas and Josh Nelson, who did a wonderful commentary um, for Morvin Caller. They're uh, doing a commentary on Sirocco. Uh, we have a commentary with Jason A. Nay on The Family Secret and audio commentary with Glenn Kenny and Farron Smith name on The Harder They Fall. The South Bank Show, Bogard, Here's looking at you, kid, the 1997, an episode of the British Arts television series devoted to the actor. Tony Rains on Dead Reckoning, an appreciation by the writer and film programmer. Knock on any door, uh, Jeff Andrew on, knock on any door. The critic and programmer discusses Bogart and Nicholas Ray. Uh, Bertrand Travenier on Tokyo Joe, archival appreciation by the celebrated filmmaker and critic. Tom Vincent on Sus. Hayawaka, the film archivist, looks at the career and stardom of the Tokyo Joe actor from the silent film era through to his Oscar-nominated role in The Bridge and River Kwai. Christina Newland on The Harder They Fall, the critic and writer talks Bogart, Boxing and Bud Schulberg. Bertrand Travenier on The Harder They Fall, an archival appreciation by the filmmaker. The Negro Soldier, 1944, WW2 documentary film intended as a recruitment drive for African-American enlistees. Jim Pines on The Negro Soldier, uh, an audio presentation by the author and lecturer recorded following a screening of the film um, in London's BFI. Uh, the Negro Sailor, a documentary short film inspired by the success of The Negro Soldier. Uh, Watchtower Over Tomorrow, documentary short film uh, about the formations of the United Nations, Tuesday in November, a documentary short on the US presidential campaign of, of 1944. That Justice Be Done, a documentary short on the Nuremberg trials, The Big Moment, a short film produced by United Jewish Appeal starring um, John Derrick, Max Baer on Super 8, home cinema presentations of boxing matches featuring the prize fighter who acted in The Harder They Fall, including his famous bout with Primo Carnera that would, re would be recreated in the film. Theatrical trailer for Knocking Any Door, image galleries, new and improved English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, limited edition 120-page book. Wow, that's a wealth of uh, stuff there. I'm excited about that. Um, it feels like a nice kind of set. Um, they could have done a Bogard itself set, but including it with the Com uh, Columbia Noir, is going to be a nice addition. Uh, I'm eager to get my hands on this one. Um, after the last Columbia Noir set, I'm, I'm eager to move on, hopefully see what they do this time round. And then just, of course, you look into their... Uh, pages they've got the, the bundle pack there where you can order both and get 10% off. I'm 100% going to get Columbia Noir. I would like to know about Pastor Hall to decide whether that's a maybe or a not at all. Please let me know if you know anything about that. Um, I am I'm happy with this announcement. It was something that I was waiting for the, the longest while to see if we're going to get a Bogart box set because it's been teased before. And I would love to know what you think of these announcements. Are you getting these? Are you not interested? Uh, is there one you fancy or one you don't? Whatever. Do you have any knowledge about any of the movies at all? Of course, let me know. I want to read your comments. I want to know what you think about these films. As always, there's more content you can check out of mine's just up here if you want to see more of my stuff. There's a like button just below this video and if you click that, all kind of weird and magical things happen behind the scenes that really help me. And if you really want to give me that extra little bit of support, you can join me on the Patreon or the membership programme. Links in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.